We are studying the mechanisms of single gene causes of kidney failure and blindness in humans, where the most prominent kidney phenotype is called nephronophysis or NPHP, and the eye phenotype is retinal degeneration. These diseases have been termed renal retinal ciliopathies because the products of the mutated genes or NPHP proteins are all located in primary cilia as shown here for the ciliopathy proteins CCDC AG8 or NPHP10 and CEP290 or NPHP6 in connecting cilia of photoreceptors in mouse retina. By studying ciliary and centrosomal function, signaling pathways such as non-canonical wind signaling and sonic hedgehog signaling were implicated in pathomechanisms of ciliopathies. However, how loss of function of centrosomal proteins leads to ciliopathies is still mostly unknown. And this is not surprising because genetic mapping studies have shown that there are several dozen more unknown ciliopathy genes. Since mutations in these genes are very rare, we had to combine genomic mapping and whole exome resequencing strategies to identify additional ciliopathy genes. When we found that mutation in SDCC AG8 causes a renal retinal ciliopathy, we were surprised to see that the encoded protein is not only located at centrosomes, but also in nuclear foci. In our current paper, we identified mutations in additional genes these are, in addition to, to SDCC AG8, the gene ZNF423 and CEP164. And we found that they're also causing renal retinal ciliopathies if mutated. And again, we observed dual localization of ciliopathy proteins, both at centrosomes as well as in nuclear foci. To our surprise, we found that all three genes play a role in DNA damage response signaling thereby implicating yet another signaling pathway in disease mechanisms of ciliopathies. We show that NPHP10 associates with components of the so-called TIP60 complex, which is a direct activator of the DNA damage response protein ATM. In addition, other ciliopathy proteins occur within protein complexes that contain DNA damage response proteins. We then demonstrated in the zebrafish model of CEP164 knockdown that in fact both phenomena can be observed upon knockdown of CEP164. That is, there was increased sensitivity to DNA damage as shown here by increased expression of the DNA damage protein gamma H2AX, where the upper row represents the negative control and the lower row the knockdown condition. But there was also a recapitulation of typical ciliopathy phenotypes, including situs inverses with aberrant heart looping and bilateral kidney cysts, as shown here by these hollow spaces. Implication of DNA damage signaling in renal retinal ciliopathies opens up a new field of study for mechanisms of ciliopathies. And the zebrafish models will allow us to devise high throughput strategies for testing of small molecules that may mitigate disease mechanisms of ciliopathies for which no treatment exists so far.